about 644. And I'm gonna try some new spots out here. That I've been scouting that, scouting that. I actually work out here in Los Colinas. So I'm gonna try these little ponds right here, these little canals, or I guess neighborhood ponds. See if I can catch something. I don't know, I have never fished them before. I don't know what's in there, but I'm pretty sure that it's bass and bluegills and I don't know about crappies. It's not a big, it's not a big pond, but some of the, some of the small ponds have, have uh, crappies in it. So it's just in a, it's just over in the little neighborhood here. Well, it's not even a neighborhood. This is actually just a street and it's a small pond very small but it looks like it could be real productive though so i don't know what that big old circle is right there but it it's like a drain hole or something so i'm gonna start here three of them actually i start here and work my way around i don't know how deep it is right here but we're gonna find out and see probably not even deep right here but so I brought some worms that I had left over from earlier. Oh, I gotta go and get my worms. But it look, uh, looks productive. Looks like I find a little deep spots. So I'm pretty much, you guys know, I'm from the country. I grew up in Louisiana, I grew up in Arkansas. I was born here in Dallas, but I grew up down there. Right? So I'll fish just about anywhere until they tell me I can't fish there. If I don't see sign. Like if I don't see signs or nothing, I'm pretty much you pretty much good. <clears throat> Police don't really worry about this kind of stuff, man. They worrying about vandalism and stuff like that, so trespassing. So you don't see no trespassing sign, things like that. I'm gonna give it a try. You can park on land, you don't see no parking sign, park on land, and uh give it a try. And if a police come and talk to you, then just tell them okay, you out of there, you know. They're gonna just tell you you can't fish there. The police or a security guard come. Huh? So we'll see. If uh, if we'll get anything out of here, got to add a little bite just then. How's it going? No, I just came down. I don't ever see. Yeah, I don't ever see anybody fish this area. I work out here in Las Colinas, but yeah. I figure it's a nice day. Yeah. I stop by and see what happened. You know. Yeah, I got one. Oh, well. But, all right, thank you. I have a good one. My, uh, my tackle box. I hope I brought that. I probably didn't even bring it. I don't think I brought it. In case I break my line or something, I don't even think I brought it. I think I left it on a, my little spot where I keep my stuff. Dang. I got to be real careful. I know I didn't bring it. I double check. Nope. I did not bring it with me. Wow. Well, this will be a quick trip. I was shocked that I see no people walking around it. I don't even see no homes around here. And this pond here, you for around to catch a five pound bass or bigger, a personal best. It'd be, it be these little neighborhood ponds like this. That's not that big. You know, the depth, the deepest part might be 10 feet, somewhere out in the middle. And, uh, you would normally catch a big old bass out of here. This 
It's weird because even upon, even upon this side, well, they eating the worm though. Even upon this side, we we'll still have like some decent fish in it. You saw how it how just disappeared that quick. There we go, little old bitty. I knew it was something. Look at this. I'm talking about little old bitty, bitty bluegill. If these in here, you gotta be some, you gotta be some bigger ones in here for sure. Let me go a little deeper here. Now this is why this is why I'm gonna tell you guys, it is it is same it is some big fish in this little pond. And I'm finna show you what I'm finna show you what I mean. I'm finna show you. Alright, so I'm gonna try another spot. Uh I'm pretty sure some big gills in here. Got those beds I saw were the size of dinner plates. So they're pretty big beds. Throw out there and drop shot maybe. See if you can find some, but but uh I cast one time, right? You got a worm? Nah. Okay, I'm gonna go to my other spot then. All right, we're heading to the next spot here. Let me see what happens here. So you got this one pond here. No bill like that. That's all. You got this pond over here. A nice pond right here. They're not big ponds at all. And then I think there's one up here too. I think so. I think it's three of them. Three or maybe two. Yeah, it's three. One right here. That one a little bit bigger than the other one. I should have fished that one, but I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna go to. Uh, I gotta remember where it's at. It's off of. Uh, Walnut Hill, okay, it's off of Walnut Hill. Alright, so got a little dry to go. About about five minutes, five to ten minutes right around the corner right here in Irving. And then uh we're gonna start back up, y'all. Here go another pond right here. So that's a that's a bigger pond there. So they everywhere. No big one. So the other big one would be gone. If it was a big one, I'm on the bottom now. That baby would have been gone. In Dallas, so there we go. Ooh, that was a good. That was a ooh. Boy, that was a good old. That was no baby. <laughs> That was a nice tug right there. This spot was probably like I would say uh, 10, 12 feet. It could be big, uh, big bass, big catfish, uh, gill. There we go. There we go. First one over here. And let's see what this bad baby is. It's a little, little bluegill. Pretty little old bluegill. So it's a little bluegill here. This little bit of one. So if you're fishing for, especially crappies and bass, about this time of the day, early in the morning, and right before it gets dark, fish that little spot right there. You'll, you'll be surprised. You'll shock yourself. You see these little things in the water at, 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 at places you go and fish? And if it's depth right there on it, a little concrete, if it's depth right there, fish it. 
throughout the day, fish it. You'll fish, you catch some bluegill and stuff. And early in the mornings and evening time, fish it. You catch uh, crappies and uh, crappies and um, bass off of it, especially crappies. Well, that's a pretty little pond though. This joke is a nice pond. There's some little bitty joke. <laughs> a little bitty bluegill. Nice little old clean little <coughs> clean little area. Hey, oh shit, sure, it's alright. This side. Uh, that's a lot bigger than what I was catching. Nice little size there. That's actually a, a take home size. Not big, but bigger than what I've been catching. Yeah, you throw top water across that. Whew. Man. It get real nasty real real quick. Real quick. Little baby. Huh. These look catfish and bass bait here. I guess I know where I can come if I want to catch those. Hmm. A little bit of one again. Same little size. So. Same little size bluegill. That's the rest of them. And head on back to the truck. Yep, so I'm gonna call it a day. Something nice to work with that pilot charter. I'm gonna call it a day. I was just scouting. Uh, didn't have too much to do at the house, so. Will I try this pun again? Uh, I doubt it unless I come back with my lures and drop a bass fishing. Uh, See if I can get me a person the best out of a small neighborhood pond. But uh bluegill and stuff like that, nah. Crappies I sure in heck won't. The other pond I went to as the first one. I probably won't I probably won't even fish those anymore. They wasn't that big and they just didn't show me anything. All right, man, I'm gonna sign off. Get to the house and relax. I gotta start work tomorrow. And next Saturday, I have more videos coming. I'm gonna actually bass fish next Saturday cause I'm still upset that I didn't catch anything for the tournament. So I need to redeem myself. Some more bass fish. Thanks. Thanks for watching.